from the Bob Mills Weather Center, the Oklahoma weather expert, Travis Meyer. You know, the weather is just seemingly always amazing. You know, for three weeks there, it's just so hot and humid and no rain and just constantly going on and on. Now, all of a sudden, here starts these bands of rain and thunderstorms coming. Not everybody's picked them up. And once again tonight, High Plains is a place to be. If you wanted to see a tornado, I guess, northeastern Colorado, you'll be able to see a little polygon there. It's red and flashing. That means there's a tornado on the ground at this point. It's visually seen. More showers and storms out to the west. This is all going to be diving south into central Kansas and then kind of Kansas City down to around Chanute, so maybe clipping the northeast part of our viewing area, which is highlighted here for southeast Kansas. We're going to be watching this area, which is a wave of energy, and that's going to be enhanced shower and thunderstorms. They'll move into western Oklahoma and central portions of Oklahoma later tonight, and then hitting us as well. Schools are getting ready to get started. Some of them have already started. We're looking at a live shot from Jinx, but Jinx still has to wait until a week from this coming Thursday before kids are back in school. Uh, but it is a sign of the season, you could say, that even though it's hot, it's still going to be one of those things. So so we have a school day forecast as we're looking at uh, schools starting. Katusa started today. Congratulations. We're also going to see the Buffaloes of McAllister starting off. Oilton, Braggs, Inola, Haleyville, and Avent. Uh, you guys all pick up school tomorrow, and we'll have temperatures in the 70s in the morning with chance of morning showers and thunderstorms. In the afternoon, about 85. Any isolated storms should be mainly north and east. And, of course, for school to be kicking off this time of year, usually it's hot and humid. That is going to be the case. And as we go through the weekend, it's hot and humid. And next week will be hot. Temperatures in the 90s and heat index values above 100, which isn't surprising. I just wanted to point this out. We pointed this out before, especially when August was starting. But the average temperatures by the end of the month start to drop off fairly significantly especially for morning lows. They start to get in the 60s, a little bit fresher, and so that'll be welcome news. But right now, it's not bad. We're partly cloudy. Gorgeous look at downtown at this point. A little bit of blue skies there with a few clouds, 87. A little heat index, but we do have a light southwest wind. Dew point at 71. That's been creeping around the 70-degree mark, and that's going to be kind of keeping us on the sticky side of life. Temperatures are in the 80s, mid to upper 80s at this hour with that light breeze. And most of Oklahoma, similar story. But notice southwest Oklahoma, upper 90s to 100. Much of Texas is 100-plus again. Uh, but there are those showers that are out to the west, barely uh, able to see those, but that's the beginning of what will be rain and thunderstorms trying to develop out west. And so that'll be happening around midnight. Now there could be a little flare up, a few isolated showers or storms around Tulsa as that starts to advance eastward. We're expecting maybe an isolated severe storm out of that and then flaring up of scattered showers and a few thunderstorms. And a few of those as they pop up could have enough to make a little bit of small hail and some gusty winds and a lot of booming going on. So another early morning alarm clock for some. That moves to the east. There could be some severe weather though, as we said, just north from Coffeyville and Independence, Kansas, on up to Chinoo and Emporia, and then on up to Kansas City if you're driving there early tomorrow morning. Otherwise, we'll just have a little bit of showers ending. And then during the afternoon, we get this one shot of hot air coming right up across the area. And so that'll just kind of make a nose right into our area. And then there's a boundary right along I-44 southeast of it. And there'll be individual cells forming. If those happen, we could call those supercells because there's enough energy from this dominant storm system to the north that could start rotating a little bit. And that makes some big hail and some strong winds. Isolated tornado risk is mainly off into Arkansas and Missouri, but if you do have travel plans or plan to be there, Branson, just be aware that tomorrow evening could be a little bit of a rough go. Then by the time we get on into Thursday, it'll be quiet in the morning, temperatures in the 60s, and then during the afternoon, temperatures in the upper 80s to low 90s. So Thursday's starting to pan out to nice, unless you're in southwest Oklahoma where it's triple-digit heat. So tonight, isolated severe thunderstorm, and then for tomorrow, better chance in the afternoon of a few severe storms, mainly east of Tulsa. And then we'll be watching mostly for wind gusts and some hail. And then the isolated tornado risk does exist south and east of Tulsa. So we will have to watch that for tomorrow afternoon. We'll be updating that. All right, 91. I should say at 9 o'clock tonight, 81. I don't know where I got 91. 78 at midnight with some thunder starting to develop, and especially west of Tulsa. And then that moves in by morning with some scattered showers, a few of those lingering around the area. Then we're looking for kind of a break. Then late afternoon, a chance of a few stronger severe storms southeast of Tulsa, knocking the temperatures down a hair bit on Thursday, bouncing back up Friday, Saturday, and Sunday to the muggies. And then a slight chance of storms again Sunday night into Monday, and pretty much hot and typical August weather for this time of year. Mm -hmm.